in the greenhouse because I have to check on my seeds every day. Gonna do a little bit of a garden takeover. Good morning, it is Wednesday and it is day two of no storms so we are going to be leaving the house today and we're going to go on a little bit of a road trip, a little bit of adventure because we are starting to get a little bit of cabin fever so we're going to go and visit a really nice cafe that has been, I can't even believe I haven't visited it yet, it's um, not very far away and it is always looks amazing when I see other people visiting so I can't wait to go and check it out but I'm just in the greenhouse because I have to check on my seeds every day see if they've popped up so uh, let's take a look success there's a few little hollyhocks popped up I've got them in that plastic recycled thing that I found because mum um, literally keeps everything which is handy and that gives it a little bit more moisture and humidity to get those seeds to pop up in this warm environment in the greenhouse that is only taken I think four days for those seeds to pop up so those are hollyhock which are edible flowers which will grow really tall and be really nice statement pieces in the garden to attract the bees and to have beautiful edible flowers um, so yeah I might need to plant some more seeds we'll have to go through a stash and see what she's got
spots. Actually getting pretty warm. So we've just been for a late breakfast brunch at the Helena Bay Cafe. And now we are at Teal Bay soaking up some sunshine, picking up rubbish off the beach. Nice day up. I am in Hamilton in New Zealand and I'm at my brother's place and I'm gonna do a little bit of a garden takeover so it's Friday today and my brother and his wife are at work they've spent the last three weeks with us up north and um, they are also doing renovations on their house so their gardens are a little bit neglected so I'm gonna get stuck in I'm going to do some before and afters and see what we can plant and I'm also going to give their house plants a little bit of love. So we've got lots of weeding to do, we've got to strip the beds, get them prepped, probably put in a little bit of extra good compost and soil and then we can go planting. So I did ask my brother last night and I can't really remember what he said. I know he said no bok choy and that's all I can remember so. Hello little dog. Um, my little help her get his gardens producing food because he's got the spaces they're all ready to go there's some wild things growing so we'll have to see what we can find um, but yeah let's get stuck in All right, so we've got a passion fruit vine here. There's a lot of stuff going on down here. Um, I can see potatoes, so there's some potatoes popping up. Um, I'm not sure what else. Okay, so we've been shopping. I've got a whole bunch of plants here. Um, so I'll let you know what I bought. Just like my last video, I have bought quite a few seedlings, um, seed trays, so that they're already established, so they can start growing because we are already well into the season here. Oh, it just got windy. Um, all right, we've got some thyme, mixed lettuce, what is this? More mixed lettuce, celery, kohlrabi, sage, calendula, parsley, mint, um, and some of these herbs are going in a planter inside. So I'm not going to put mint in the garden because it will go wild. And more calendula, um, peas, perpetual spinach which is a really good perennial spinach and some strawberries. So the, um, the garden beds are all prepped, ready to go. We just need to plant 
our seedlings in um, there was heaps of worms and we found a bunch of compost in the compost bin so we've put fresh compost into the gardens and a lot of weeding and now I get to go plant randomly and I do know that my sister-in-law loves a straight line but it's a sustainable holly takeover and it's gonna be wild <laughs> and random all right so we've got a pot here which we've filled up with lots of good soil all this rotted leaves there's so many worms in it it's basically like compost and we're gonna plant a strawberry patch so the strawberries can hang down it's a worm and so I'm just gonna pick off any of the flowers or fruits um, that are on these like this one I'm just gonna pick that off so that the plants can put all the energy into growing big and strong before they start to fruit and they will cover all of this ugly bit so in this garden we've got all salad stuff so there's some calendula which is an edible flower and this can go in salad as well as baby lettuces mixed salad greens a bit of kohlrabi perpetual spinach celery all mixed in and then we've got some peas around this frame so the peas can grow up here and those will be really good in salads as well and then more um, little celeries spinach kohlrabi the pea so it doesn't look like much at the moment but this is gonna grow and be lush and full of food right outside the front door to all the fruit here that's what I want to know who gets to eat all the food at the gardens does anyone know